Hey, I'm Tanae, the attorney founder of Legal Fitness, and that's my online contract template store for business owners. All right, so today I want to discuss the difference between an amendment and an addendum. They're often used interchangeably uh, between business owners. They'll say, oh, um, a change we made, can you just throw an addendum together? And I'm like, no, I cannot. <laughs> Depends on what we're doing. So um, let's just talk about the difference. So you're a business owner, you have a contract in place with another party, and a change needs to be made. And it's not a superficial change. Maybe it's a big change. Maybe you are adding a service, changing the way a service is delivered. You know, something significant that you want documented as part of the contract. That's when an amendment is used because you are amending, i.e. changing the agreement. So you're changing something specific. The price was $500 a month and now the price is $800 a month. You are changing something significant to the agreement. So you use an amendment. This amendment will directly reference the agreement, usually will reference the effective date of the agreement. It will reference the parties and then it'll also uh, reference that specific um, term. So if it was section two fees, it'll specifically re reference section two fees and what is being changed. Now let's talk about the use of an addendum. Now, even looking at the word addendum, the first three letters are add, A-D-D. You are adding something to the contract. You're not necessarily changing something in a contract, but you're adding something, right? So, all right, so let's say that I am representing a client and they have been presented a contract uh, by another party. Okay, so you look at the contract and maybe it's like some type of boilerplate, um, which just has all their terms. And you, you look at it, you're like, okay, these are agreeable. There's not much we wanna change here, but there's some things we wanna add. We just wanna add a few more things to this contract. So we're not changing anything, but we wanna add a few more things. So what I'll do is I will create an addendum and I will add those few additional things that maybe they forgot to mention, uh, maybe, my client performs and or does, and this is part of the package, this is part of the service, whatever that may be, I wanna add on a few more things, okay? So in addition to all the terms that are in the contract that they gave us, we're gonna add on A, B, and C, and addendum A, right? So we're gonna add on these things. So that's how I typically use an addendum. It is to add on to a contract that's been presented, and then we take those two things and then we sign off on them in the end. Now, if it, if the contract has already been signed, absolutely, you can still do an addendum, you can still add on to it, but I think one of the things that tie people up is the changing versus adding. So whether the contract is fully executed or not, I typically use amendments to change terms and I use addendums to add on. For more tips and tricks, be sure to like this video, subscribe for more content, and don't forget to sign up to the free legal resources I have in the description box below. So much good stuff for you and your business. I will see you in the next one. Bye.